Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Yulisa. I am a notary public, a loan signing agent, and a business owner. And in today's video, I'm going to give you some marketing ideas for December, for the holidays, for Christmas, all of that. I'm very excited. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. So for sure, I get very excited when I do um, my marketing videos, but especially this Christmas time. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So let me tell you what you're going to need. And I'm going to obviously put up some pictures of different inspiration and other things that you can do. But for now, I am just going to show you one of the things that I'm doing for marketing purposes to potential clients, realtors, lenders to like get a conversation going and then I am I don't know if I'm gonna film it or just post it on TikTok and Instagram for uh, my actual clients what I'm giving them as a thank you gift so these are marketing and then for my clients we're getting them thank you gifts so that's like a separate thing we'll be talking about different marketing ideas that you can do we're also going to be talking about the things that you need to have in your marketing, whether it is goodie bags or cookies or pastries or anything, what it is that you need to have in those treats. Um, and I know that with the holidays coming and with the current market and the economy, we're trying to be as budget friendly as possible. So this marketing right here was, I just went to Walmart and I spent $24.99 on most of the things. I went to Hobby Lobby and spent $2.50 and then I went to the dollar store and I spent $6. I think the most expensive thing is your actual marketing material, whether it is business cards or um, stickers. In this case, I'm thinking of adding my stickers, but we'll see. So the most expensive thing would be like the stickers and the postcards that I'm adding. I'm actually doing my own holiday gift cards, my own holiday cards, because I couldn't find ones that I liked. So I'm using Canva and I'm gonna print them myself and throw them in this envelope and then throw them in the goodie bag. So that's what we're gonna do. These, however, are a little bit more pricey on Sasso and then these, but I'll leave the links down below. I just kind of gave you a rundown. I spend, I wanna say less than $40 on this marketing to potential clients, which is a very good budget. And then for, you do want to invest on your marketing material, whether it is flyers, business cards, postcards, that you, you'll you keep on using for a very long time. So that is more so of an investment. And I do have a video on a recent marketing that I did. And I talk about the things that I use from Sasso, the things that I buy. Um, and I have all the links to that, so I'll link that video up here. So let's get started on our Christmas one. We'll put some Christmas music and get started. You know that Ho Hobby Lobby is the place where I go and I buy my goodie bags, any type of goodie bag for any occasion, Hobby Lobby has it. And they're usually like 50% or 60% off. So these were originally $4.99 and I got them for 50% off. So I got them for $2.50. And there was, there's 30 of these bags. They are super cute. I got similar ones for the month of, for my fall edition marketing. So these are adorable. And this is what we're gonna work with today. So I'm thinking of instead of adding a business card because I do that a lot and I don't want to be redundant, adding a sticker right in the middle of it. And that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to do one like this. We'll see how I like it. Let me show you kind of what I bought for, for this marketing. So the theme is going to be like a hot cocoa, cocoa kit. I'm going to insert some inspirational pictures that I saw on Pinterest. They're super, super cute ones. All of my ideas I honestly get off of Pinterest. People ask me like, where do you get your ideas? Like you're so creative. A lot of it is through Pinterest. I love Pinterest for everything. So it's kind of like a hot cocoa kit type of thing, what, what we're doing. So 
we got the marshmallows. We got, I couldn't find classic candy canes. So I bought these instead. And I think it's better than the candy canes. I think these are, they, they taste better. And then we also got, we got just like the, these are the Swiss Miss. They're the ones with the marshmallows for the hot cocoa. And they do come individually wrapped, so it's perfect. Some chocolates, kisses, and Reese's, like the traditional classic candy for Christmas, of course. And from the dollar store, I got these bows. I'm thinking. I got these bows. I'm thinking of adding maybe. I don't know why I thought there was blue here. Right. Well, I'm thinking of adding like a bow on it, but I'm not sure. We'll see. And then I got these two from, again, I don't know if I'm going to add them there, but it's something else to have. Um, and then I bought these little mini bags. So they're smaller than these. Well, not, a, not that much, but they're smaller. And I'm going to add... A couple marshmallows because these are not individually they're not individually wrapped and I couldn't find individually wrapped so we're gonna add our marshmallows in here and then we're gonna add that bag in here and then I just got some of these because I remember eating them as a kid and these are like hot chocolate candy cane marshmallow all of that flavors so it just it was like such a homey thing just a little touch so that's what we're working with. I am gonna quickly print my my own holiday card in here. But what I'm thinking, it's too big for these bags. Which is not a big deal. I can cut them up, but then that's the size of the envelope. Oh boy. I just couldn't find any holiday cards that I liked, so we'll see. I guess we'll, we'll leave the holiday cards till the very end. And so we're just going to open everything and smell of the candy. Oh, that smells good. More bags. These from the dollar store are smaller and they're way thinner so i personally would not use them as like to give my goodies in these because they're really thin like super thin crazy but it's perfect for like what we need them for How many is like too many because this is only like a measurement for one cup so I don't want to add too many but I don't want to this bag is way too big for this like that I guess so this makes 30 bags this should be enough for 30 bags So let's start assembling these bags. So we're gonna add one of those, one of these. I think these I'm just gonna fold them in half. Okay, it just smells good. It smells like candy cane. It just smells good and then like the chocolates. How can I not eat some of them? So we're just gonna add a couple of these. I was gonna add a candy cane, but I couldn't find the classic ones. There was just like a bunch of weird candy canes. And so I just wanted the classic ones. I was also gonna add like some scrunchy paper, like red and green, but I forgot to buy that. I'm gonna see if I feel like it needs it or if it doesn't really need it, then we're not gonna buy it. 
some, I don't know, I think I don't think these are Christmas. No, they're not. Christmas candy, but there's a lot of these, and these are not the classic ones. They're not even like the tree shaped. That's a rip off. So kind of like that, maybe. So far, I'm liking it. We're gonna add one there. And then I was thinking of adding a bow. It doesn't need it, I'm just extra. <laughs> but it doesn't need it like at all. I just felt like it was a cute little touch. You know what? Okay. I got an idea. I'm very into the small little details, so I just got an idea. I'd like to order like customized to from Kind of like the sticker, but it being like a little gift tag thing. That would be cool. So what we could do is I could add some ribbon and then kind of place this on the corner. Um, and write their name on it. Why not? Make it like customized, you know, like this was meant for you. I, I like that. This is looking super cute. This is so cute. Like, ready for me to get home and make a hot cocoa. Yeah. So cute. What do we think? We're going to do one with it, and then we're going to do one without, and then we'll see. Wait, I thought they do come with their strings. Perfecto. Perfecto. I actually have to, like, I'm not gonna finish this at all today because I do have a signing. I actually have three signings back to back. It's 1.45 and I have a 2.30. But it's 10 minutes away from here, so. Um, so yeah, this is not gonna be done today at all. But, I do plan on on giving this out I think next week I think starting next week you can start your Christmas marketing and it's not too early it's not like too last minute everybody starts ahead of time because if you wait till like the week before Christmas a lot of people are already like not even in their office they're out of town um, a lot of people are delivering their own marketing, so you might not be able to catch as many people as if you do it as earliest as possible. So, just a little tip there. So then we're gonna take that, wait. Okay. So we're gonna take that. Is this one done? Yeah, I think it's done. I love how these little bags are like like a Ziploc bag. They are, they seal and you can unseal them and seal them again. And well, look at that. That looks like a Christmas present. They do not have Christmas cards. Um, but I think I am going to add a handwritten note in there. I just... I could even just do one without a, without like an envelope. Cause I'm thinking of adding my postcards, but my postcards I think are too big. Mm, I think they're just the perfect size. 
So it depends who it's going to, then I'll add my postcards. Um, but for sure, I do want to add a handwritten thank you note and happy holidays, like wishing them well. So what I can do is I, huh, that's very smart, Yuliza. Okay, so we're going to go to Canva real quick. Canva is my best friend. So I'm going to do my own little cards. I'm going to make sure it's printed on like one fourth, I mean one half of the page and then we're gonna fold it in half or probably this side fold it in half write a handwritten note and then like this should fit in there right yeah this should fit in there i actually like the bowl the touch of the bowl a lot and then it has like my sticker at the bottom and then i can write who who this is going to that is like a perfect little touch they look super adorable. I love them. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, um, let me give you some other ideas. Let me give you some, thank you. But some other ideas while I'm doing, obviously, goodie bags, treat bags, all of that. Um, and this is a hot cocoa kit. I saw a lot of those and they are super adorable. So the hot cocoa kit is one. Um, candles is another one that I saw a lot or you can even make those like goodie little boxes with like a candle a stocking and like a Christmas card type of thing it depends just kind of like on the budget um, and who it's for like you can create those for like your clients and then have your marketing ones be more of like a simple budget friendly thing um, and then we also have cookie boxes. There was some really adorable, really good looking cookie boxes and you can support your small businesses around um, and order some cookie boxes. There's also chocolate boxes. You can get those off of Walmart or again, support your small businesses. There's also the mugs with like chocolates and um, they add just candy on the mugs. You can buy mugs from I saw really pretty ones at the 99 cent store. They're not a dollar anymore. They're like two or three dollars, but that's a pretty thing you can do. There is also wine bottles. Um, and then I did see these super, super adorable, which I've never would have thought of doing it, but the way they were on Pinterest were so adorable. And then something that I thought of that I could have done, but didn't do is like stockings. You can buy like stockings off the dollar store and just stuff them with a candle or even like your hot cocoa kit or you can just stuff them literally with anything candy and chocolates and even baked goods anything and it'll look super super cute the last one that i have on here are baked goods you can support your small businesses and order baked goods or you can bake them yourself and it'll just be more of a personal touch or you can buy them off of Walmart, Fry's, Albertson, anything like that. Everybody loves baked goods. So yeah, that's just some more Christmas marketing ideas. Please comment down below what you are marketing with this Christmas. I would love to know and see all of your posts and pictures. So now tell me, is it more adorable that it has like the bowl and the little like gift tag or should it just keep it simple without the bow and the gift tag? I'm honestly extra and I'm going to add the bow and the gift tag. That looks super, super cute. So this is kind of like they're turning out. I still have to work with them. I don't know. I might end up just buying Christmas cards. We'll see about that, but other than that, I do love how they look. They're super cute, really adorable. Um, and if you do create your own, do send me a picture of it. I do want to see it. I love seeing your posts about all your marketing material. It's just so cute to see. So I do hope that this video was helpful. I hope that it helped you. 
and that you love the marketing material that I did. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them on the comments down below. I hope you have a beautiful holiday season. Much love. God bless. Bye guys.